Can you tell us your name, your age, and what you do for a living? Um, uh, my name is uh, Jalisa Bell. Um, I'm 35, and I'm a project manager. Awesome. Current relationship status? Uh, single, happily single. <laughs> do you have children? Yes, I have two beautiful kids, a boy and a girl, eight and nine. Awesome. Do you want children in the future? It's still available, but I mean, I've I've gotten comfortable with my two. We we got a good cadence going on, so it just it depends. I'll I'll keep it. I'll open it to that. My limit is forty, so I got a couple more years. <laughs> I hear you. Why did your last relationship end? Um. It ended in divorce. Um, I'll, my The best way to describe it, uh, we were on two different paths. Um, I'll say outgrew each other and just certain, um, certain things, certain values that we didn't necessarily align with. Um, and we just part, part, parted ways amicably. It wasn't, wasn't any, any major animosity yeah. or anything. So, yeah. That's important, too, when you can divorce amicably, you know, mm -hmm. and still have a decent yeah. relationship. Kind of recognize that it's like, you know what, you may not necessarily be my person or you're no longer the person that I need to be with. And I and I had to accept that part. Mm -hmm. So what's a deal breaker for you? Ooh, um, communicating. I would say poor communication is a deal breaker because I think that was one of my weak points when I was younger. So I really, um, I really require that, uh, whether transparent, transparent communication, I should say. Cause people, people know how to communicate, uh, but it's effective. If is it effective and is it transparent is really big for me. Because I want to be able to have the open, honest conversation, even when it's hard, when the topic is hard. So that's that's huge for me. And if you can't do that without, you know, getting overly emotional, you know, not being able to regulate your thoughts, um, that kind of is like, eh, do I really want to deal with someone who can't necessarily articulate how they feel? And it doesn't have to be 100 percent, but at least you're able to recognize, you know, when you're angry and how to navigate that aspect if needed. That's real big for me now that I'm older. Understood. How do you handle difficult situations? Ooh. Um, I guess it would, it depends, but I'll say in a general consensus, I consider, well, okay. So I think I would consider it more so delayed so I'm the type of person where I don't, I do my very best not to react in the difficulty. I try and process it before I then make my reaction. And it, it's helped me a lot over the years, as opposed to just going on the first emotion. Mm -hmm. So you, you're the type that kind of like to process for a little bit, like, don't talk to me now. I need, I need, I need some. <laughs> so yeah, to, to an extent, I, or let us talk it through and I'm processing as we're talking. Um, if it gets heated, you know, like for instance, two people yelling and screaming, I can't handle that. So then it's like, okay, I'd rather us not have a conversation and then let me think about it and then have a conversation after. But normally it's like, <laughs> I kind of look dumb because I'm like, thinking I might be staring right through you but I'm listening but I'm just you know letting it process so that I know how to say the right thing as opposed to just saying the first thing that's good so why do you want to be married why um I mean a lot of things it's it's more so the the partnership I do miss the partnership um the wanting to pour into someone um, aside, you know, I'm with that with my kids, of course, but having that that reciprocity with that partner, um, that that person, your person, that partnership, that Batman and Robin, that you know, the the sidekick of each other, um, being able to confidently, 
you know, share each other's time and energy together. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm looking to really have someone to build with. Uh, I feel like I have a lot to bring. And I know this table thing is so cliche, but um, I have a lot to bring to the table. And, you know, I, I feel like I don't want it to go to waste in a sense, you know. Um, I feel like, you know, I I have uh my person like my personality I'm I'm fun I can be boring I can be fun I can be you know very serious business like but I I feel like that it, there's so many different sides to me that I want to share it with just some one person as opposed to having to give pieces of me to more than one person um is is something that I do currently feel like I'm ready to provide to now more so than ever mm mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel that. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit deeper. I have three questions I want to ask you. Okay. <laughs> okay, just a little deeper, not not too deep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. When you were scared, sad, angry, or overwhelmed, who, if anyone, did you go to for comfort as a child? My mom. I went to my mother first. Mm -hmm. Um or like the hug, um, the rubbing my forehead, or my grandmother. And then my dad was the one I needed to like, you know, you know how like parents if you see a baby crying, they'd be like, who did it? And the baby be pointing. So I go to dad when it was time to like let him be the enforcer once they figured out what was wrong. So that was kind of how the steps went. Mom and grandma for the rubbing the head and wiping the tears. And my dad was a the enforcer so and he was he was like the little lion ready to protect his cubs so <laughs> that's what's up that's cool are you a spender or a saver a little bit of both okay if i need to i have a if i have a goal in place i'm mm -hmm. definitely saving but if i have a goal to spend something i'm spending so i think i have a i have a pretty decent balance mm -hmm. um Never, it wasn't always like that, but I've gotten to the point where I, I've uh, I've been able to get my budget situated to where I have the be able to enjoy some luxury. Mm -hmm. The things I like to do. Food is my biggest problem. <laughs> a lot of DoorDash. No, not even DoorDash. It's just I like food. So if I'm out and about and I see something, I have a uh, what do you call it? Um, an impulse for something. Uh, oh, I want to eat, eat that. Yeah. That's why I go to the gym, thank God. <laughs> I hear you. What was what did the what did you learn about relationships from watching your caregivers? Um, relationships aren't easy. Uh, I don't care if you guys are one thousand percent in sync. Um you have to be ready for adversity. Is real big. I think a lot of a lot of failures occur because of adversity, whether it's finances, somebody loses their job, um, sickness, um, you know, and then you got the external factors like your parents. Um, I, I, I seen like my great grandmother, we had to take care of her and it took a toll on my parents when they were together um, because, you know, focusing on that plus trying to take care of the kids and then having your own space. Um, but uh though those are really the big things and then also uh what i didn't necessarily see 1000% was how you know taking care of one another um really really basking in um caring for one another i think i've seen a lot of the caregiver or the i'll say the adults in my life or the couples in my life that i had was they were okay with coexisting and I used to just despise that slightly like I feel like we should be able to enjoy each other and not just be here because we chose each other we had kids <laughs> we got debt together and now we just wake up and go to sleep um and that's something that you know I think that's what I kind of desire I have like the the fairy tale thought process thinking like I can have it all in a sense where I can have the happiness we can go through the trenches together and still be able to reap the fruits of our labor at the same time. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Oh, on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Well, thanks again for taking some time out of your day to be a guest. Can you let everyone know how to get in touch with you if they want to slide in a DM? You know, oh, where can they get in touch hey, with DMs, you? what's up, DMs? Um, so my Instagram handle is official underscore coach jbay24. Um, I think you can, that my, uh, I don't really, usually Instagram is really the main place where a lot of people can uh, find me. Okay. Um, yeah, hit me up there if you decide. What's up? No, I'm joking. <laughs> but okay. thanks for having me. No uh, problem. Thanks for having me on the show. Yes, for sure. Well, we're going to have everything linked up in the description below. So if somebody want to slide in the DM, just go in the description. <laughs> Thank you once again for All being right. the guest. Thanks. Take care. Yes, sir. Bye.